In this lesson we're going to start looking at secondary storage. You can see we have a large amount of new words which have been added to our keyword wall. Task number one. Drag the items under either primary storage or secondary storage. You need to find this page in your workbook. We're going to be creating a definition for secondary storage with the words in purple. But let's have a look at how these words will feed into our answers. Over the next couple of slides, I'm going to support you with this. The programs. These are the applications or uh, software that actually run on your computer. Operating systems. There are lots of different types of operating systems. Windows, you might have iOS for Apple, Android, Linux, there's lots of these. These are the programs that actually run the computer systems. Non-volatile. Can you give a definition of non-volatile? You should have said that non-volatile is when data remains even with power. What is data? Try and give that definition here. Well, data is like our uh, saved information and work. So here I've got a file with some details in it, which are data. Our next keyword is storage. What is storage? Have a think about it and write your definition. When we first think of storage, we think and when we use Google and type storage in, this is what appears. It's almost like somewhere where you've got a store for data or for products. It's a bit like a garage. You can put lots of different things in it and go and collect them later. But we're thinking about digital storing. So it's the storing of data. So that might be your uh, Microsoft Word documents or your PowerPoint documents. Now we thought of our keywords. Can you give us a definition of secondary storage? There's a key help on the next slide. This might help you to make your definition. Please pause the video and complete that now. So secondary storage is non-volatile, long-term storage, which holds the programs, data, and operating systems when not in use. And that when not in use part is important. The CPU is currently not using these uh, documents. Your next task is to find as many storage devices as you can think of and make a collage on this slide of as many as you can think of. So we've already covered this, but when a computer receives power, the bootstrap instructions are loaded, loaded from ROM into the CPU. It is in fact the secondary storage the hard drive that stores the operating system. So Microsoft Windows or Linux, Unix, iOS or Android. The parts of these operating system that you need are then loaded into RAM. So it can be accessed quickly by the CPU. And remember RAM holds the current programs that we're working in, but also the operating system. I want you to create a diagram to explain why we need secondary storage. You can use as many photos, pictures uh, that you want, but only 10 words. Why is it important that we have secondary storage? Here is the help for this task. Well, secondary storage is larger than RAM. It's non-volatile, so that means it's not going to delete when we lose power. You can write to it, unlike ROM, which is read-only and it holds the operating systems and programs when they're not in use.